All right, this is the uh, Tennessee Intercourse uh, Algebra 1 practice test. This is question number 29. Uh, Marta is buying a car for her sister for 12294 How nice. Um, after making an initial payment of $1,200, she agrees to pay $258 per month for n months. What, which equation can Marta use to determine the number of months it will take her to finish paying off the car? Now, in this case, I need to figure out um, which one of these forms that's much better. My camera's a little wonky today. Um, will tell me which, uh, or which one of these can actually tell me how many months it will take to pay off the car. Now I know that she makes an initial payment of $1,200. That means it's a one-time payment and nothing else. If you have a one-time activity, a one-time fee, a one-time payment, no matter what it is, it should not have any variables next to it because it happens one time. If a number is next to a variable, it means it's affected by other factors. But $1,200 is not affected. It is $1,200 regardless. So I'm going to look for a $1,200 that's by itself. Like in A, for instance, there is an N next to it. So I know it is not that. Now from there, I'm going to either be doing B, C, or D. It just depends on what the question asked me to do. Now she says, or it says, that she agrees to pay $258 per month. Now you see that per month thing in there. Anytime you see the P-E-R, that usually means times. That's a multiply word. So I'm going to look for something that's times the number of months. Well, this one has an N next to it, doesn't it? 258 N. That's times, and it's got that 1,200 by itself. This mixes 1,200 and 258 and interacts with the N in some weird way. So there's no reason that it should be either one of these, but it should be B. So the answer to number 29 is B. Anything that has a one-time payment and that inter payment somehow interacts, it's rarely going to be anything other than something that looks like slope-intercept form, which is this one.